back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I use an AI tool to create the artwork um, that I use for my single releases, both for my bands and my solo stuff, um, and how I use it and what I use it with to finish off the designs. So let's just dive straight in. So what we're using today is a version of ChatGPT4, I believe, is built into this um, co-pilot um, by Microsoft Bing. Now, the reason I'm using this one is because this one's free and it comes with all of these other tools in it that I believe if you have the ChatGPT app, you have to pay £20 a month for. At the moment, on here, it's still free. Um, so what we want to do is come over here and we, we need an idea for a new single um, cover so what I'm gonna do is I just want a single truck I just want um, a pickup truck um, parked out in the desert with nothing around it other than one snake there you go <laughs> let's just try that let's see what that comes up with so you just wait a minute obviously while it's doing its thing it's now going to try and create a few different versions but there's some cool stuff that we can do once it's come up with some versions which I've got to be honest I only figured out today um, not done it before so, whoa, <laughs> what's that one there? Um, so this one, we've got the truck. Okay, so this one looks quite close. Let's have a look at this one. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And what's this one here? That is also, that's cool, but the, the, the snake looks a little bit more cartoony. I think if this one hadn't got snake flying in the sky, that might be okay. Um, but let's just have a little play with... Um, let's have a play with this one. So once you've got your image um, that you like, and that's what you want to use, if you notice when you hover over it, you can do a number of other things as well. So I literally just found this one out. Um, if you click on the car, we can do this thing called color pop. So everything else can be black and white and just the car can be in color, which is really cool. And you can do that with anything um, as well. So you can literally click on all these sort of pieces here. Click color pop. It's, it's such a cool um, feature. Um and then we've also got some other features as well by where we can sort of click on the truck. And if we want to blur the background out some more, see it's blurred out the foreground, it's blurred, it's almost put like a bit of a ring around um, the truck, which I quite like. We then click that's good, and then that's done. Then you've got some other options down here. Then you can have different versions of this if you want to. So then we can go recreating some like pop art version of it. I would probably stick with the more realistic one if I was using this for something I was doing. <laughs> That's actually quite cool. I'm not going to lie, I actually quite like that. I, d I do quite like that. <laughs> um, then we've got watercolour, we've got steampunk. Let's have a look what steampunk does. Oh. Oh, that's... I'm keeping that. We're going to go with that one. Right, so we're gonna gonna click on him. We're gonna click background blur. I'm keeping that. That looks awesome. Right, so so then, obviously, once you you know you're happy with everything that you've done, um, you can either edit it in the designer, which they they do give you. So that if you click this, it'll take you to a separate page, and it does have a designer built in. Now this is where we can do things like add text. At, you know other tools um, but I'll be honest with you I, I prefer using um, different tool I'll show you in a second you will have heard of it we all used Canva before 
Um, but this obviously gives us some options like remove background, you got different lighting effects and different types of filters and everything that it offers us. We can add some text. Um, we could, you know, put your, your name of your song on there. You could just put the song is called Snakes. Quite a simple title. You could just have that done, written. That's it. That could be it. That could literally be it. Um, if you want more text options, though, what I would typically do is copy this from here, put it into Canva, and then use the fonts that I've done before. So if I just show you one that I did for my band, this image was generated inside the AI software, and then I used um, the text, because there's more text options inside Canva. Um, I used them to finish off this. Canva does have its own version of AI generat generative um, images but I just don't think it works as well as this I think this comes up with some absolutely ludicrous um, designs and I love it so if you're going to use any of them this is the one that I would recommend like I said it's completely free I'm not a designer um, so for me this saves me a ton of time um, and yeah I, I think it's a great one to use it's completely free give it a go let me know what you think in the comment section would you use this or do you have a designer that you want to keep in a job um, I don't know any designers um, that are affordable <laughs> right now, and I'm putting out a lot of songs at the minute. So this, for me, is my best option at the moment. Um, let me know what you think in the comments section. I know that AI can sometimes be a little bit of a sore subject with musicians, but I think if you use it in the correct way and use it as a tool, then it can be very, very useful for you, especially if you're doing what I'm doing and putting out a lot of music all of the time. So, yep. Yeah. Um, let me know and I'll be back with more videos very soon.